channel! If you follow me on Instagram, link below. Or if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm about to take a big old trip with my husband to Oregon and California to go to Disneyland. We're taking a trip for my birthday slash for fun because we want to, to see some friends and family all over the place, both in Oregon and in California, and take a big old trip to Disneyland. So I thought I would show you what is in my carry-on long-haul flight bag. For a long-haul flight, you are allowed a carry-on and a personal item. At the moment, I only have a personal item, but I'm about to get a proper size carry-on bag. I just have to go to Oregon to get it, because I'm taking my mom's little bag. It's nice, it's small and quaint and like has wheels and stuff that spins in every direction, but it'll, you know, it's a big old bag. And when I get that bag, I'll put a lot of stuff in it, like my computer. But at the moment, all I have is ugh, this bag, which is also quite big, but it will be less full once I get the other bag. Be great. This is my carpet bag. I call it my carpet bag or my tapestry bag. And I got this from tapestry.com. I don't remember the website, but I will leave a link below. They have lots of tapestry designs in lots of different bag sizes, and I love it. It kind of stinks because I do feel it quite heavy, and these are the only straps, which means it sits on my arm and makes my arm quite tired. But once I get the other bag, this will be much lighter. So, what is in my carry on? for a long haul flight. First thing is actually one of these bags. This is a packing bag. I talked about them in a recent haul video. This bag will go in Tom's rolling carry-on. Tom has a personal item and a rolling carry-on, so he's capable of taking a bit more stuff at the moment. Once I get, obviously, the rolling carry-on, then things will even out. So he has my computer, and he will also take this bag. And in this bag, we have Tom's, because I'm gonna wear not comfortable shoes, and I'd like to put on comfortable shoes. We also have some socks. These are still connected. These are from New Look, little spaceships and moons and stuff, because everyone wants warm feet on a plane. I have two bags of tissues, mostly because Tom needs a lot of tissue. And I have face wipes. These are Neutrogena Visibly Clean Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleansing Wipes. I use <laughs> I use the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Face Wash and Face Lotion. I've never tried these, but I thought it would be a nice thing to try. When we take long flights, which is often because we're trying to get to the States to see all of my friends and family, I always take my makeup off during the flight and then put a lot of lotion on because it's drying and it's not good for your makeup to be on that long. So I thought I'd try these, give these a nice whirl, take all the makeup off, and then I have the lotion, which I'll, I'll get to. The last thing in this little bag is my little cute face mask. Oh, my little eye mask. This I got as a Christmas present from Tom. This is from Oom Loom. Oom Oom Loom? I'll leave the link below. It's a cute wolf mask. Has a nice print on the back. It's very soft. And, um, I like to sleep in the dark. So, I'm just gonna have these. They give you masks when you go on these flights. I have taken. Well, you because they give you a mask. Um, and I don't use them, but I keep them because then I would use them at home. So I have a couple of those. They're super handy, but then I got this guy for Christmas, so I'll be taking this on the trip. Like I said, this will go in my rolling carry-on once I get it. At the moment, it is sitting in Tom's rolling carry-on along with my computer. Never check your computer, keep it with you. So, keeping up with the toiletry front with those weights and stuff, I also have this is my clear plastic bag of toiletries and liquids. I picked this up at Target. You can get them all over the place now. They definitely in the UK have them at Boots and Superdrug. You can definitely get them at Walgreens and Target in the States. It's pretty straightforward what's in here. We've got some hand sanitizer, lotion, other lotion, deodorant, face lotion, face wash, toothpaste, toothbrush was in there somewhere. Oh, you have to recheck for my toothbrush. I also have my perfume of choice shoved in there. I'm not getting everything out, but all of my liquids are in here. They are all under 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. They fit in there very nicely. Oh, I also need to put my liquid foundation in here, but I will put that in later. Other thing I always take on a flight is a water bottle. This is empty. There's no water in here. Actually, if I open this up, I might get a drip of water on me. 
This is empty. You can take an empty water bottle in your bag and fill it up once you're in the airport. Always do that because water is too expensive in airports and you can get a ton of water in one of these. This one is from GCN, the Global Cycling Network. A friend of ours works there and gave us some of these, so that's really cool. The next thing in my bag is my makeup bag. This is a Kath Kitson makeup bag, which I got as a gift. It has all of my makeup in there because I will not check my makeup bag along with those toiletries and computer and valuable objects you don't want to put in your checked luggage because the checked luggage can get lost. My makeup bag stays with me, I take my makeup off, I put it back on before I get off the flight. Da da da, we're not gonna go through my makeup bag because that will take too long. Portable charger, this is a portable charger I've talked about on here before. This is by Anchor, it's great gotta charge that stuff. I always carry notebooks with me, so not a surprise, I have two notebooks on the trip. This one I kind of use more as a daily list planner, not daily, monthly planner, things that I need to get done that month. This one Tom got as part of a Christmas present and gave me one of them so I can keep longer, more creative lists and keep all of my video ideas and things in there. And I of course am traveling with a book. This is Finding the Finding of Martha Lost. This was recommended by another YouTuber I watch, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. Actually, Tom bought it for me as a Christmas present. I take the sleeve off because I don't like messing up sleeves. So, just a bare little book. One of the other major things I always take with me are headphones. Duh! Always take great headphones on any trip. I have some in-ear headphones, which I will pack somewhere, but I need them on my daily commute. These are my headphones of choice for long flights. They fit over my ears and adjust to my head size. I don't like sticking headphones in my ears for extended periods of time because they make the, my inner ears hurt. They ache from something being in there. I like these for flights because they block out all that sound being completely covering my ears. And especially those long flights with those huge planes, they make a ton of noise. Lots of that really loud, low rumbling and I like to block it out. It does hurt my ears. It gives me a headache. These are the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. I've had them for a lot of years now. A lot of years now. They're fantastic headphones, both for flights and for recording. Probably see if you watch my music videos. They're in there. Other little bits in here are a set of playing cards. These are Beatles playing cards. I love playing cards. It's a really great thing to bring. Tom doesn't like playing cards with me, but he needs to learn how to love to play gin because it's my favorite card game and I love playing cards when I'm traveling. Got my glasses. Good old glasses. Other little bits I have in here are some house soothes. I thought these were lockets. These are with honey and lemon house in case my throat hurts for some reason. I've also got some chapstick and a regular phone charger and retainer. The last thing that I really want to talk about is my travel wallet. This is my lifeline when I travel. Brr. I used to travel with a big old binder, not binder, I used to travel with a big old folder full of paperwork and everything was in a folder, but it was kind of cumbersome. I picked this up on Mod Cloth. It's very cute. They definitely have other very cute ones on Mod Cloth. When you open it up, you have lots of places to put credit cards, IDs, coins, passports, put a pen, which I need to get my nice pen, and then you have all of these slidey bits. Actually, you have one on this side too. You can put stuff behind there, and you have all of these little fold, whatever they're called, compartments, pockets, pockets, for important stuff. They have labels on them, currency, tickets, documents, hotel, and um, I always travel with a photo of me and Tom. I don't know. This is what I'm looking for. I've also got Tom's ESTA, um, our marriage certificate is in here, both of our passports are in here. I need to put a lot more stuff in here, but we're not quite ready for the trip yet. It's not for a few days. This will have a lot more stuff which I wouldn't show on camera. Everything. Everything you could possibly need to print off and carry with you. Itineraries, everything will be in here. Just grab it out of my bag, especially when you're going through security and customs. You want to just have everything right there that you could possibly need to prove that you're fine. You're fine. I love having a travel wallet. It's just so smart. There's really cute ones on Mod Cloth. I will leave a link below. 
get yourself a travel wallet. And that's it, that is what I take in a long haul flight. I used to take a lot more stuff, keeping it simple. So that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you really like to take on your long haul flight. If you have any questions about long haul flights, maybe you've never been on one and you wanna know what it's like, leave me a question below or tweet me. Um, all the links are down there. Make sure you're also following me on Snapchat. As we go on this trip, I will be Snapchatting the trip as well as vlogging to put up those videos later. Make sure you subscribe, you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye!